Hey YouTube, Southern Prepper 2. A little while back I brought you the video on the mill relation formula. I'm bringing you how to work that formula backwards today. And why that is so important to be able to manipulate that formula backwards is a lot of reasons. Um, when you can manipulate this formula backwards, you can actually measure the distance between stuff out there, the object size, um, for your sector sketches, for your range cards, you can measure how wide buildings are, uh, maybe a road. You can measure how wide the road is to make sure you can get your equipment, whatever you're trying to move through there. A water crossing, you can use it to measure how wide that river is to figure out the best way to get your equipment and your people across that river. Um, so there's a lot of different applications for this. Um, it's something you definitely need to learn how to do. Um, being able to gather good intelligence and accurate intelligence is key. Um, so this is a big way to do that on your sector sketches and your range cards. So let's dive into it. So like I said, we're going to be doing backwards manipulation of the mill relation formula. If you have not yet watched my first video on the mill relation formula, we are going to put it down in the comment section and down in the description. You need to have a good understanding of the mill relation formula before we start trying to manipulate this backwards. Okay, so I broke it down into two parts here. Okay, let's cover the first part. Range to the target in meters. Okay, so how are we gonna get that range to start with? We're gonna get that range to start with by possibly knowing a, a target already out there, a known uh, width on a target or height on a target, and use our mill relation formula that we already went over. You could estimate it by eye, laser range finder. There's a ton of different methods to use, but that's something we're gonna to need to know. We're gonna to need to know range to the target. And that target could be a building, like we said, it could be uh, whatever it may be, a river crossing, a choke point, and you wanna know how actually how wide that choke point is. Um, so don't just think of it as a target that you're gonna shoot, you know? So you're gonna take that, divided by 25.4. The 25.4 will not change in this formula. This is gonna be a constant. Just like we talked about in the other video, this 25.4 will stay the same, okay? So range to the target meters divided by 25.4 will give us a number right here. Okay, that's the first half of it. Second half, we're gonna take this number that we got here and we'll put it down here. So you'll take that number times the mill reading of that target. Go back and watch that first video. We talk about how to how to mill the target. So you're going to take that mill reading, and then it's going to give you the target in inches. Okay, so let's break it down. I got an example here. I'm going to keep it real simple. Um, I'm looking at just one building, and I want to know how wide that one building is. I use my laser range finder or any other methods, and I know that building is. 1,211 meters from me, okay? So we're gonna divide that by 25.4, which never changes, equals 47.67. That's the first half. Let's go on to the second. We take that 47.67 times our mill reading. I milled it in my reticle at 6.2 equals 200 and 95.5 inches. So now I know that building I'm looking at is 295.5 inches wide. So let's convert that over. 295.5 divided by 12 is 24.62 feet wide. So now we know that building's you know, 24 and a half feet wide. You can also convert it over to meters if you'd rather work it in meters, 295.5 divided by 39.37 is 7.5 meters wide. So there's a lot of applications um, that you can use this in like we already talked about, but you gotta know the mill relation formula forwards before you start trying to manipulate it backwards or you're gonna confuse yourself greatly. Um, so watch that other video, take notes on this, practice this. It just takes practice. Go out there and you just gotta practice. Take some time and a little bit of effort. Thanks for watching.